Hey guys, it's Matt with Bleepin' Jeep, and today we're doing a DIY and drive video tutorial here at Pull Apart Used Auto Parts. Let's get started. Okay, so this Cherokee has a little bit of front end damage, but the radiator is still good. Right there is the AC condenser. The radiator is behind that. So let's go ahead and start pulling this thing out. So I want to start by removing the fans or the fan shroud. This particular vehicle's got an electric fan here and then a mechanical fan over here with the fan shroud. Part of it's missing, but the bottom half is still there. So, 8 millimeter, we're going to start removing this stuff. Now, pull the reservoir line out of the way, set it aside, and the electric fan has this clip, so we need to disconnect that. When you have one of these little red tabs, the red tab goes over. All right, then you should be able to press here and pull that apart. Then go ahead and take your fan out. Now let's pull the radiator support. That's this metal piece that's over the top of the radiator. There's just a bunch of uh, 10 millimeter, I believe. Yep, 10 millimeter nuts and bolts on the top of this thing. Make sure you set these bolts and nuts aside because you might need those when you reinstall this. So there's a couple of nuts and bolts on the back side too of the support so we're going to remove those and then we're also going to remove some nuts that are holding the front piece on so we're going to remove those from back here along the edge. Now, if we got them all, the support should just pull back and up. Let's see. There it is. So the AC condenser is attached to the radiator. If you want the AC condenser, then go ahead and break it loose on the lines on the opposite side. If not, go ahead and unbolt it right here. Now on either side of the radiator, you're going to have a radiator hose, the top one and the bottom one. So go ahead and pull those off. You just pinch this little clip, pull it back. Then you can go ahead and pull the hose off. You're going to do the same thing on the bottom on the opposite side. Now when you're doing this, keep in mind uh, you might want to take these hoses with you. You might need it or you might just need a spare. Okay, we're almost there, but if you have an automatic transmission, there's going to be two transmission lines on the driver's side over here. So, just take your crescent wrench and break this top one free. Okay, now the bottom transmission line is a little more tricky. You'll either need to have the specialty tool to unlock that quick connector, or you can just cut the line. At this point, there's only one thing left holding it on there. You can barely see it, but it's right down here. There's this little clip for the transmission line. It's got an 8 millimeter little bolt on there, so let's grab that from underneath. Now if we did everything right, it should be free to come on out. Let's check. There it is. Radiator. Okay, well thanks for watching guys. Again, this is Matt with the YouTube channel Bleepin' Jeep. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time.